YouTube, it's Nadia I'm Nappy and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we're going to be talking about six oils we can use to infuse our Ayurvedic herbs and I'm going to enter the timestamps right over here for the topics that we'll be discussing today. So the first one we'll be discussing the composition of our hair sebum and then we're going to discuss the six oils that contain the similar fatty acids and triglycerides in our hair sebum. Then I'm going to recommend three herbs to use for anybody who's starting their Ayurvedic journey and a good base of herbs to infuse into your Ayurvedic oils. And then finally, the two different methods you can use to infuse Ayurvedic herbs. Okay, so let's get started. We're first gonna discuss the composition of our hair sebum. So nerd alert, we're about to nerd out, okay? So I'm gonna insert this graph on this page here. So if you notice, the composition of our hair sebum is triglycerides, free fatty acids, wax esters, squalene, cholesterols, and other esters. Now I noticed in my research here that triglycerides and fatty acids were lumped together. Now I found this information to be important because the oils that contain these particular triglycerides and fatty acids were, were found to be better at penetrating our hair strands and providing the nutrients needed. Also the research stated that monounsaturated fats we're better at absorbing them into our hair than polyunsaturated fats. Okay, so now that we got the base out of our way, let's briefly discuss which fatty acids are found in our hair and then which oils contain these particular fatty acids, right? So what I noticed in the fatty acids found in our hair is that they were actually short carbon fatty acids between 16 to 18 carbons. I'm talking about palmitic acid, myristic acid, lauric acid, linoleic acid, oleic acid, steric acid, just to name a few. I just want to get these, these names in your mind because a lot of times you might have seen them on the back of certain hair products, right? But these acids we want to look for in these particular oils, okay? Okay, so next I'm going to talk about these six oils and I'm going to list them in order of penetration. So the most penetrating, and I don't want to say to the minimal penetrating because actually all the oils I'm listing are going to be penetrating oils. I'm intentionally choosing them for this exact purpose, okay? So the most penetrating oil, as a lot of you guys know, is coconut oil. Now coconut oil is rich in two particular acids. I'm gonna name the top two fatty acids in each oil. And that the first one is lauric acid and the second one is myristic acid. Now these particular acids are great for helping to prevent high growth fatigue. And that is when you guys wash your hair all the time, a lot of people's hair expands and shrinks, it expands and shrinks, and that causes a lot of wear and tear in our hands on your hair strands. And by doing a pre poo treatment with coconut oil, it can help to prevent that high growth fatigue. Um, it's also great for helping to reduce protein loss in hair. It's actually great for dandruff. And again, we're gonna use this as one of the highest oils we wanna use to infuse our herbs because of all of these penetrating benefits. But you're like, okay sis, my hair hates coconut oil, but I got you, okay, I got you. All right, so next up is sunflower oil. Now sunflower oil is actually a ceramide, and we kind of didn't discuss that in the hair sebum, but ceramides are actually found in our hair strand, and they're like the glue that binds our hair together. So sunflower oil is a bomb oil, and the two fatty acids that are found in sunflower oil are the linoleic acid and oleic acid. And the oleic acid is a monounsaturated fat, which we know that can penetrate the, the hair strand very, very well. The linoleic acid is a polyunsaturated fat, which means it can penetrate, but it can also co or can lock in that moisture or lock in the herbs or nutrients of whatever we add to our hair, okay? So now the third oil we're gonna talk about is babasu oil, y'all. And I had talked about this oil in another video and someone asked me to go into a little bit more detail. So babasu oil contains lauric and myristic acids and actually is very, very similar to coconut oil. So if you hate coconut oil, a lot of people will love babasu oil. It comes from a nut. It can actually penetrate really deep into your hair strands. It has a melting point that's similar to our skin. So it's solid and as soon as you touch it to your skin, it melts y'all, it is bomb. If you've never tried it, definitely get into some babasu oil. It really helps to, again, lock in that moisture, prevent moisture loss in your hair, your skin, use it, okay? And this oil also contains triglycerides, as again, we noted fatty acids and triglycerides were found in the sebum of our hair. So great for locking in nutrients and penetrating into your scalp and hair strands. Next up, of course, you know, is your olive oil. And I'm gonna be specific and say extra virgin olive oil. Um, you guys, this is rich in monounsaturated fats. It contains a high amount of oleic acid, which we know can really, really penetrate deep into your hair strand. 
And the second one is linoleic acid. It is said to moisturize your hair, improve luster, shine. I love olive oil. It is also in my Ayurvedic um, hair oil because it's a great base oil to infuse with. So next up is avocado oil. And I really kind of just got into this oil within the last year, y'all. And it is bomb. It contains oleic and palm oleic acid. And these are both monounsaturated fats. That means the majority of this oil, about 70% of this oil can penetrate deep into your hair strands. All right, I'm talking about giving you nutrients, moisture and shine. It's rich in triglycerides. It is a bomb oil. Now I thought because I'm actually allergic to avocados, that I wasn't gonna be able to use avocado oil, but I actually can, and my hair is really loving it whenever I infuse oils into it. And the last oil, and this by me, no means means that it is the only oils that we can use. It's just the six ones that I really, really love. It's sweet almond oil. Now, almond oil, of course, it's a nut oil. It does contain some protein or some strengthening properties. And the two fatty acids found in this are oleic acid and linoleic acid. As you know, you heard me say these fatty acids throughout a lot of these oils. So this oil is really good, again, in penetrating your hair strands and nicely leaving a nice coating barrier as well. That means locking in the moisture. It gives you the, pro the ability to do both. So now you have your six oils, right? You're like, okay, I got my oils ready. And don't be afraid to, to um, either experiment with one or to experiment with two of these oils um, to find which ones your hair really loves the most. It's fine with experimenting, you guys. All right, now next up, I'm gonna give you my three favorite herbs to begin with, with your oil infusions. So the first herb is almond powder. Now y'all, almond powder is great. It's rich in vitamin C, and vitamin C is important for collagen production. It is known to help fight hair fall and to help regrow hair. It contains anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal properties, which are great for healing the scalp, you guys. So this is a great herb to begin with. So the next herb is neem powder. Now a lot of y'all know the oil stinks, but the powder is actually really great for infusing. It doesn't have that stinky odor. And neem is one of those herbs that is great for people who have skin issues. It has a ton of antifungal, antimicrobial, antibacterial properties. So it is great if you have eczema, dermatitis, dandruff, any type of skin issues, this is the powder or the herb you wanna use and infuse into your oil for scalp issues. And then finally, I'm gonna recommend fenugreek. Now you can either use fenugreek seeds or fenugreek powder. Both are amazing. You can infuse your oil with that. Now fenugreek contains nicotinic acid. You're gonna get the strength from this herb. It's gonna help you prevent hair fall. It's gonna encourage hair regrowth. So these little herb combo, these three herbs are great to begin your regimen with and to infuse your oils. Now, finally, we're into the last section, and we're gonna talk about two particular ways in which to infuse your herbs into oils. So the first way is the solar infusion method. Now, this method is like the classic, old school way, y'all. You basically put the powder or the herbs into a clean glass jar. You fill and cover them with oil. You set them out in the sun for about four weeks, making sure you shake the jar every single day. And then you strain it and use the oil. Now, a lot of y'all are like me, you're impatient. We want that oil, we want, to use, we want to use it right now. I ain't got time to wait four to six weeks, okay? So, then I recommend the double boiler method or um, using a crock pot. Now, this is gonna speed up the process. You're gonna put the herbs into a double boiler, turn it on your stove, but you do not wanna boil the oil and you do not wanna boil the herbs, okay? So even though we wanna you know, use this oil quickly, we still wanna make sure we're infusing it properly and we're not overheating the herbs or the oil, burning the oil, okay? So you either, so you put whatever herbs you want and I'll put some quantities down below and of course some quantities down in my blog post about your ratio of herbs to oils so that you can have a proper infusion method and you set that on for one to two hours to let that infuse and then you can straighten it and use the oil right away or what I'd like to do is kind of like the double infusion process where I'll start stovetop um, in my double boiler method to let the oils begin their infusing, use section, section out a portion of the oils for my personal use, and then put the oil in a cool, dark place to continue infusing for about six months. Use whatever oils you want and then refill it and continue that process. So whatever works for you, works best for you, please continue to do that. Let me know down below if you have any questions about using Ayurvedic herbs and infusing Ayurvedic herbs, and I will try to answer them for you guys. 
Now, don't forget to check out my blog post, you guys. I'm gonna include a lot of this information about the hair sebum composition and triglycerides and fatty acids that are important in choosing these oils. So that's it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos, you guys. I do tips every Tuesday, so you don't wanna miss out. But that's it for this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.